Okay, let's let's do over then. That led nowhere. Okay, so that is the end of that. So going to the break area, we never need to do again. So other options include cafeteria. But it didn't seem like I had an option to go to the cafeteria there. It was only the break area, which just leaves get rid of Sheba and then do something. And it seems like the stack of papers is the key to that. Is that on the desk over here or something? Oh, wait. Let me get. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Stack of papers. The papers. Miss Morimura forgot them again. And then we give them to. Kyoto. Sorry, Shiba Kun. I have to drop off these papers. Again? Jeez. We'll just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. You do that. Off you must fuck. Okay, so. We are now at this point, so we now have three options. Oh, in the middle one, I guess this is. What do we need to do then? Interact with Fuyusaka in the classroom? I think that's what it's telling us to do. Uh, where is Fuyusaka? Are you okay? She's not here. You seem kind of stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey, I'm worried about you. Yuri-chan! Oh, there she is. Oops. Hello. Shall we go home together? Sorry. Okay, let's speed through this. Can we interact with you now? There we go. Something up. You're staring. Well, maybe not here. Let's go out to the hall. All right. Oh, it is so much easier to figure this stuff out. <laughs> now I know about the timeline, man. I mean, I did know before. I just had forgotten how to pull it up. But my goodness, does it make life a lot easier. <laughs> Holy. That was like my one complaint with this game before was that it was occasionally really obtuse trying to figure out what to do to trigger a new thing. But like this has pretty much solved that, right? So... Wait, why are we back on find out where Amaguchi is? Shouldn't this be something different? Where's Futa? Over here. Fuyusaka. Hello. That's weird that it's put us onto this bit. Shouldn't we be down here still? What's going on, Fuyusaka-san? Well, um, you know that dream you were telling me about? Sure do. The truth is, it's real. It actually happened. Whoa, man. What do you mean? That's crazy. What was that dream about again? Uh, you don't remember? You just mentioned it again last week. I've had a lot of you big know? nights out since the then. about the shootout? Shootout? Something about taking refuge in a harbor... But you ended up getting shot and captured. I was the only one who managed to escape. Huh. Oh, yeah. In order to prevent killer robots from being invented, a factory got blown up, right? You remember now? I didn't know you were into action movies. That's the plot of Exterminator 2, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. <sighs> So you don't remember after all. Of course I do. That movie is a masterpiece. <laughs> not what she I'm means, not dude. I'm talking about a movie. This is something that actually happened. And it wasn't just a dream either. <clears throat> Kurabi-kun, that wasn't a movie. It wasn't. Okay, what have we got? Does that mean UFO Wars is real too? There is a UFO. It's beneath us. Okay, you're pretty far through your no own way. journey, aren't you, if you it's know all this? It's just like the movie, isn't it? We're going to ride that UFO and fight off enemies. 
No. That's what the Sentinels are for. Sentinels? Giant robots. They were created to defeat the Kaiju. But she seems to think we would know. Does she not know about, like, our memory wipe and stuff? If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? It's an episodic show where the story plays out in different ways each time. In this one, an alien seeks refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. You've never seen it before? That was a real event. It took place on Sumire Bridge in the year 2089. Now that you mention it, that scene did look like it was shot at Sumire Bridge. I was the only one there. Uh. You never made it, Kurabe-kun. No, that's not true. I was there. Wait, what? You and I were transmitted together. How do you remember? Wait, what? Okay, he shouldn't have remembered that. That was a that was a memory leaking through, I guess. What about this one? Is it real too? If the Daimo showed up in real life, I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome. I don't know about well, that one. Lucky you. You'll be seeing plenty of them soon. Huh? Daimos is the general name for them. But there are many different types. Some as big as a truck. Some bigger than a whole building. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. You're so interesting, Fuyusaka-san. Don't you already know all this? You're the one who told me about it. Remember when we were cleaning up the science room? You said you saw a shootout from the future in your dreams. Cleaning up the science room? Flashback time? No? Uh, Never mind. Sorry to bother you. Aw. Recall! Now that I think about it. I've handed you the key. Be sure not to misplace it. Renya Goto, second year. Popular with all the ladies. <laughs> the snob. When you're done cleaning, be sure to lock up. Then return the key to Miss Morimura. Understood? Yes. Then if you'll excuse me. Sorry for the trouble. What did we do that caused trouble? Okay, there's not much left to do. Let's get this over with. I'll wash the equipment over there. Could you put the beakers back on the shelf? Sure can. Goto Senpai is so mature. It's hard to believe he's just a high schooler like me. <laughs> he might not be. I'm hungry, man. Oh, fuck Ooh, off. Duty sucks ass. You suck ass. Shiba -kun. Stop complaining and get to work. Did you say something? You were mumbling. Speak clearly, please. Just... It's Saturday. Kinda sucks to be doing cleaning duty. Rules are rules. Just deal with it, okay? That does indeed kinda suck. Are you done with the beakers? Nope. I'm getting to it. Isn't Goto-senpai responsible? No wonder he's so popular. Sure. Where should I put this? Beakers go in the big cabinet in the back. One of these? Guess it goes in here. This one too. That's all of them. Let's just go home and let Fuyusaka do it. Let's fucking Since not, my dude. Is... Stop all getting around. Is sweeping up. Holy shit, this guy sucks. <sighs> what is it? <sighs> What's got 
gotten into you. Is there something on my face? <sighs> Sorry. I was just thinking about the woman from my dream last night. I think it was you, Fuyusaka-san. Me? In your dream? You were dressed in all black. Strong, commanding, and honestly, pretty attractive. That would be a really weird thing to say to someone. You're just talking about the dream, right? What happened in it? It's kind of embarrassing to talk about. That would be such a creepy thing to say. Like, two kids at school, and then the dude goes up to the girl and says, I dreamed about you last night, but you were older, wearing a fucking skin-tight leather suit or whatever it's made out of, and you're really attractive in the future. That would be like, uh, creep factor. The apocalypse was coming. To prevent it, we had to go back in time and blow up some sort of facility. But that got us in some trouble. The facility... The, bombing, the cops came after us. It came down to a shootout, and the two of us got separated. Oh, so I was a I wonder criminal. if the facility is the one where the well, park is now. Kind of. It was a just cause. Uh-huh. Well, that does sound exciting. I'm curious to hear how it ends. Me too, man. Oh, yeah? I can keep going. Please do. Oh, hello. Jurograve's dream thought? renegades hideout. Show me. It's nothing. I had a misstep too. I failed to kill one of the researchers. The deed is done though. The entire facility's been destroyed. We did good. The interstellar development project was sent back to square one. Do you think we've changed the future? Sure hope so. If not, then we'll have killed all those innocents for nothing. I'd like to believe they haven't died in vain. <laughs> A patrol boat. They're onto us. I mean, setting the Interstellar Development Project back to square one surely wouldn't change the future because they'll just start again from part one. I can barely walk. So what? You want me to abandon you here? You just need to make it through today. Remember. Just go. Why does she just need to make it through today? Interesting. Okay. A movie scene question mark? Mystery fails. Woman who looks like Ms. Morimura. She also looks like the woman who appears in Joe Karabi's dreams, who also looks like Iori Fuyusaka. Huh. Nothing new. Okie dokie. Back we go. Uh, you're up to 44%, but I think that's a pretty good link to go to Iori now. The boy in Iori Fuyusaka's dream that appeared to before her in his robot looks just like Shu Amiguchi. Mm -hmm. Oh no, not this again. <laughs> Oh wait, no. This is different. Haha! -ha. I, I was I was about to say, oh god, we're trying to fucking figure this shit out again, but no, we're good. It's a it's a separate instance. Twenty eighty nine. That's what year it was in my dream. He said he'd gone back in time sixteen years to find me. If that oh, was yeah. a real premonition, something's gonna happen in the year twenty one oh five. That's 120 years from now. Pop quizzes. I'd honestly forgotten about that. <laughs> was your grade that bad, Usami-chan? Um, Usami-chan? Hmm? What's up, Iori? I hate tests too. Did you tank the math test too? Those formulas put me right to sleep. So you got an F? N no! 
It was close, though. Don't worry, Yuri-chan. You're good in other subjects. We never had class on Saturdays. Really? That sounds wonderful. Your grade wasn't so hot either, Miwako. Can we stop talking about this? <laughs> I was going to study last night, but then I turned on the TV. It's a classic. Miwa-chan. Yes? What were you watching? What were you watching? A special on Haley's Comet. It's coming next year. Oh, I wanted to see that too. The next one won't be for another 76 years. A once in a lifetime encounter. It feels so romantic. And that's how you blew off your studies. This school gives away too many tests. Once it once I thought it'd be easier here, not harder. <sighs> That's weird. So the next one will be in 76 years, but it's a once in a lifetime experience. Do you not expect to be alive in 76 years? You're not that old. You'll probably still be alive in 76 years. Pretty similar. What are they supposed to be here? Like 16? So they'd be 92? That's not unfathomable. You know that bakery? Their hot dogs are so good. Oh, I haven't had a if hot dog in so me, long. I could really go for some Mikuman. Oh yeah? Let's Which do you want, Iori? Oh no. It's another split path thing. Gotta oh no. Dogs, right? They make them fresh each day. I, it's, I mean, I've got no idea what Nikuman is, so hot dogs fucking straight down my throat. Mikuman are I'm with Izami chan Let's eat hot dogs. Yes. And let's pray that we got the right route first. <laughs> Wait, hot dogs look just like yakisoba pan. That was a cute bakery. Right? Let's eat before it gets cold. Isn't that like the exact same model as yakisoba pan? Yeah. It's kind of spicy. It's chili sauce. Wow! Wonder why it's spicy. Love the kick. I'm not a kid anymore. Gotta be mature to handle this stuff. <laughs> sure. Usami chan, you've got chili sauce all over your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, by the way, speaking of TV shows, I saw a real weird one the other night. Yeah. It's from the Explorer series. What is that? Usami chan? Huh? What's up, Iori? The Explorer series? It's a popular segment on Weird Wednesdays. Last week it was. Terrible Tales of the Massive Mummy The Amazon's Underground Secret. Dun, dun, dun. I think that was the name. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The mummy was so fake. Who believes that stuff? Wait, why do you know so much about it? Do you watch that show? More like Nachan wouldn't stop talking about it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that does sound like a Natsuno kind of show. I watched the whole damn thing. But it left me with more questions than answers. Yeah, it's always like that. So you know it? The boys in class were talking about it. I usually watch the music show in that time slot. Miwa-chan? Yes? What music do you like? Well... Lately, I've been getting into idols. Oh yeah, the one who looks like Amiguchi-kun? Yes! And also, there's a female idol I like a lot, too. She's so cute and has a wonderful voice. The one that's been appearing on oh, Shoes TV? is she that really popular one? Yes. She's coming out with the record soon. Maybe I'll buy it. Dang, you're really into idols, huh? You might like her, too, Sami-chan. 
Today's top hits remind me of old times. Okay, they didn't name her. Old times? Really? These days, music is trending more towards pop. I think it's pretty different from before. Huh? Oh, right. Are you pretty into music, Asami chan Kinda. I'm more about singing than listening. Wow, you can sing? What kind of songs? I'm curious now. Well, uh. Rap. That's kind of hard to explain. Grime music. Is it porn music? Not exactly. I don't get it. She does a great Stormzy impression. Yet. Huh? Ah, nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, what right, yeah, because she's like from the future this? and Muako is not. Sorry, Miwako. Miwako would not know the, the music that she likes. It's true. I might put on weight. You know that bakery? They're hot dogs. <laughs> okay, now we're looping. Oh, by the way. Oh, that one. Old time? What? Ah, nothing. Hit. You know that bakery? Uh, it's from the ex. It's kind of. I could really go for some Mikuman. Oh, yeah? Let's get both. <laughs> I might put on. Oh, that one. Old times? How do yeah. I. I need to get to the point where I choose Nikuman, but it's not letting me make the choice. The best cure. Yeah. Let's. Which do you want, Diori? There we go. That's how you choose it. It's a bit chilly today. Perfect time for Nikuman. All right. Okay. What does Nikuman look like? Oh yeah, looks potentially tasty. That deli's Nikuman are huge. And so warm. Time to taste test. Hum. Hum. So juicy. Juicy? Doesn't look like something that would be so juicy. Chewy and light. Strawberries are juicy. To bite into. Pastries? Good idea for a date. Just buy two of these, stuff them in your shirt, and bam! Instant Morimura! <laughs> <laughs> Give it some thought. You'd burn yourself. That's hilarious. <sighs> you look sleepy again. Are you doing okay? I'm fine. Something happened? I told you, remember? Yuri-chan collapsed in the science room. I was still at school, so... I took her to the nurse's office. Oh, yeah, you did tell me that. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, thanks for coming with me. Huh, why did we collapse? Goto-senpai really saved the day. He carried her there in his arms like a princess. I could hardly believe my eyes. That's the shocking part. Ever since that day, I can't stop thinking about him. Was it all just a dream? Oh, recall. Him being Renya or him being Juro or... Okay. Cleaning duty. <sighs> and that about does it for the sweeping. Good going, Karabi kun. Something wrong? The door won't open. Goto Senpai gave me a key ring, but none of these seem to open the storage room. Well, that's a problem. What do we do with all the equipment? I guess just leave it. I think this we is can't do that? Right after, right? Is this is this right after the one we just played as Juro? Kyoto's not here. Well, I guess.
guess I'll get the key from the teacher's lounge. But he did give Juro a key in the previous class, one. Karabi -kun. I'll take care of the rest. Sorry about that. Hey, no worries. Good job today. She's in the same grade as me, but she talks like she's my older sister. What if she is? You never know. With this game, you never know. <sighs> this building is so old. And so... quiet. It's kind of creepy. Anything else around? Nope. There we go. Now I can put stuff away. Huh? huh? Who's there? Kurabe-kun? Oh, I get it. You're trying to surprise me, right? Right? Come on. <laughs> this isn't funny. Just come out, okay? <laughs> uh. What the? No one's here. It's so bright. Uh oh, we go in time on? traveling. Looks like you've come too. I'm so glad you're okay, Yuri Chan. Huh. Miwa chan. You were lying on the floor. Completely unconscious. How do you feel? Are you all right? S senpai Huh? That doesn't make sense though. Don't push yourself. When are we? Did we time travel just like a little bit? Like that was clearly a time travel thing that was happening. So it doesn't make sense that we just passed out and he found us and brought us here because like we must have changed time you should stay in bed um i'm okay it's not like that time travel blue shit ever goes off and the person is left behind like that every time we've seen it if you're inside that blue bubble as the time travel thing goes off you get time traveled like that's just the rules so huh how did i get here goto senpai found you he carried you all the way here. He did what? The burning city. Were you there too, Senpai? I don't know what you're talking about. You had collapsed in the science room. Huh? The science room? While you were in there, um, uh, how do I say this? Did you see any weird flashing screens oh did she get time travel to this that? burning city she time traveled no. to the future there was nothing of the sort and then came back and that's when she passed out and he found her and it just cut out the burning city part a dream that's all it was i'm sure a dream miwa chan i saw it the burning city from my dreams Another nightmare. It was all a dream. No. I was actually there. <sighs> <laughs> Chihiro. <sighs> but Chihiro, you've lived through this, surely. You must have already done this, right? Let's calm down, Yuri chan You must remember it being in this just situation. Dream. A dream. <laughs> okay, here we go. No now way. let's go to the burning city. It was real. And I saw... him. Him? He was there. At the burning city. Renya? Yuri-chan. To the burning city. And beyond. The place where my dreams destroyed city. What is this place? Your future. It's destroyed as far as the eye can see. Look forward to it. Just like the place I saw in my dreams. <gasps> I see someone. Hey, 
Um. Oh, you're. Ah. No huh? Oh. Is that a gun? Who are you? I was gonna say, is this the bit where she falls for him? Because we know, like, the early on when we played her, or early on when we played A, I can't remember who we were actually playing, but she runs into him and she's clearly already smitten with him. Maybe this is when, but then if he's pointing a gun at her, maybe not. I'm Iori Fuyusaka. I know that much. Huh? Uh, how do you... Who ordered you to come here? Ordered? I just saw a flash in the science room. And the next thing I knew, I was here. Wherever this is. You really don't know? Sure don't. This is Ashitaba City. In the year 2065. The future? No way. If the gate reacted to her, she must be one of the 15. And that's not all. She unlocked the gate. A locked gate can only be opened with Morimura's ID. It's as I suspected. Iori Fuyusaka is the real Chihiro Morimura. Morimura? You mean our teacher? Ah, <laughs> oh, you forgot you were saying that out loud there, eh? You should have should have said it in the head, you know? Think, but don't move the lips. How was the city destroyed? You're not gonna follow up on the bit where he just called you his team uh, Morimura? Safe at this distance. What is that? The Daimos. From the Kaiju movies? Not a bad comparison. But this one's a machine. Those things appear in droves. Hell bent on destroying the world. Before long, they'll take over our very own town. Wait a minute. How do you uh, know so uh, much? Don't get the wrong idea. I saw it in a dream. A dream? That monster was wrecking the city. And it was coming for me. I ran for my life. There were other dreams, too. People talking about monsters. Maybe they weren't dreams after all. That's right. We lost the fight and ran away. A monster was chasing us. And the person with me was... <laughs> Koto-senpai. When did I get so obsessed with boys? <sighs> they keep showing up in my dreams. <laughs> dreams have been so strange lately so I've been thinking maybe they're premonitions what are your other dreams like in one dream after the city was destroyed I wound up underground inside a big UFO in another one I escaped to the past all by myself were those all real Morimura told me the same stories. Dreams, huh? Um, who are you? Wait, do you hear that? Huh? A drone. Hello. Shit. <laughs> they found me. Who? There's no choice. Come with me. Huh? Um, okay. Quick to trust is old Yuri. Uh-oh. It's too late. Time to fuck off. Fuck off to Miss Prime. Yeah! Hmm. Sekigahara got away. Did you find Sentinel number eight? Yes. It had been taken over by the Dinos. 
I suppose it's risky to send units out autonomously. That can happen. I'll restore manual control to number eight. The Dymos can take control of the Sentinels? Now. By the way, we had a surprise visitor. Aseki Gahara. He's in this sector. Unfortunately, he got away. And not only that, can you see her? She's a student from Sector 4. <gasps> Could he have brought her here? She looks familiar. <laughs> Same class as Kisaragi, I You believe. dumb motherfucker, Renya. In any case, bring her back. Huh. Chihiro clearly realized what was going on there, but she didn't tell him. Which is interesting. To be continued. Iori who leapt through time. Mystery files. Fusaka is able to unlock the gate, which only Morimura should be able to do. Why is it only Morimura that is able to unlock the gate, I wonder? I don't suppose it said anything there, did it? No. Why is it only Morimura that is able to unlock the gate? Wait, was it really just that one thing? I guess so. Okay. Well. Very, very interesting. Who will we do next time? Oh! Oh, snap! Oh, shit! Renya is fucking available after that? Okay, there we go. Number 13. Number 13 has become available. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yup. Holy shit. Holy shit, the time has finally come. What percentage is Fuyusaka on now? We had to get Fuyusaka to 57% to unlock Renya. Huh. So I guess we could have done that a lot earlier, I suppose. If we'd have just mainlined Fuyusaka. But still, very, very interesting. Well, that's that question answered in the next part. We will be jumping into Renya. Is it Goto or Guto? Goto's story? Holy shit, that is big. I'm very, very excited. Hope you are too. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Thanks for watching. See you then.